Welcome to this edition of Spotlight. We are at Hopewell Elementary with Principal Dr. Melissa Hensley. And Dr. Hensley, with a new school, always comes some really cool, unique, collaborative new spaces. And there are a few different options for students and staff here at Hopewell, right? Absolutely. We are so fortunate to have the space that we have here at Hopewell. It's really focused on 21st century skills. And our classrooms can open up their garage doors and collaborate in a variety of spaces. We have flex rooms, we have a project room, and it's just really great to see kids be able to work independently or with a group, maybe even with different classrooms, but the furniture is very accessible to them and it really supports individual learning. Well, let's take a look at some of these accessible and flexible spaces as we spotlight Hopewell Elementary. Each grade level has their own collaborative space that they get to use. So this is the fourth grade collaborative space and it is very open-ended for what it's used for. Um, a lot of times kids come out here to do um, projects where they're working together. Um, they can come out here as a place to do work independently and just have a different atmosphere to work in. Um, there's a lot of different uses that we can have for this space. These spaces allow us to get together, not just with our grade and in our classrooms, but with the whole kindergarten group. And our kids get to move around, work together, partner up, work with huge groups, and it just gives us the opportunity in the area to really collaborate and work together. Our classroom is like, they're small. And so a lot of times like during reading, there's a lot of people in there and it gets kind of noisy. So if we come out here, they've got like a lot of comfortable spaces. They get to bring their laptops out here and brainstorm ideas, um, bounce, each other, bounce ideas off of each other. They get to discuss different topics that we're doing in a space that's a lot more open and not as distracting as if everyone was in one tight knit, closed off classroom. If we do like a whole, fourth grade thing that we all sit on the couches or the big whiteboard where we can like solve out problems and stuff. In addition to the collaborative spaces for each grade level, um, each pod shares a uh, project space. So the fourth grade and fifth grade have a project space and that is used for also a variety of different things but we especially take advantage of it in um, science. We've got all of our materials and supplies and we can get everything out, we can make a huge mess. It's a really fun area to have hands-on um, learning experiences in there for the kids. As a kindergarten team, we have really explored every avenue and every subject matter in our collaborative space. We have taught readers workshop lessons where we had book clubs and we got to explore nonfiction books of our choice. We made backdrop for readers workshop uh, theaters. We have done writers workshop where we've presented and science projects, we have explored every curriculum in our spaces. I like doing book clubs in the collaborative space. And I like when we do lessons with Mr. Weinman. It's just like any other learning environment. You don't really notice anything. You know, everyone stays focused to what they're doing. And it's very nice to be able to just raise your garage door whenever you want, use the space, come in and out. Um, I can be in there with the garage door shut and have half the kids in here, half the kids over there, and be able to still see them and keep my eye on them. And we really are able to work really well together as a whole fourth grade team because of this space and the way it's open like this.